Welcome back to EKG. Uh, this is Paul again, playing some Fallout, killing some zombies. Oh yeah, that's another mod that I installed. Um, is the, It turns all the ghouls into George Romero-style zombies. They're a little bit tougher, um, but they move slower. And it looks like they can gain health back. I'm not sure what just happened there. And oh no, I'm out of ammo on my main gun. This was intended to be an ex exciting raid on my part, and I thought I came prepared, but I did not. I'm gonna go with a custom gun I made called Plan B. Gonna go with Plan B sometimes. <laughs> Whip out the, the sawed-off shotgun. So, as I mentioned uh, last episode, if you're just joining us, is uh, me and an old buddy from Diamond City interrupted a drug deal, killed the drug dealer and the buyee, and took the money and the drugs. And the woman who was leading the drug deal... Oh my god, this zombie is tough. The uh, woman who was leading the drug deal led me here to this chem's lab where their main operation is. And oh god, oh no! That is a suicide. No! No! I, uh, I didn't even save. <laughs> we spent the whole last episode. <laughs> this is survival mode again if you're just joining me. We spent the whole last episode trying to get to the chems lab. And then I start the next one. And not all I kill all the ghouls. And then a suicide. No! A suicide super mutant out of nowhere just decks the fuck out of me like Troy Palamalu with that mini nuke. Oh my god. Well, welcome back. <laughs> I feel like Eric playing Fallout. Oh my god. Granted, this is survival, but that is cruel. I even had the self-saving magic grenade bed. <laughs> and it couldn't save me. Oh, this is rough. Well, we're going to do a different mission this episode. <laughs> I'm not going back that way. Fuck that. I think we're going to try out... I want to I wanna fight raiders, not super mutants who just blow me up. Okay, so I do remember doing this save, actually. So we're, we're close to the city. All right, so let's see where we're at. We, I did this save in the middle of the last one. Uh, let's check out the combat zone. Uh, because this is actually a mission that I wish we had done when uh, Eric and Lucas were doing the Fallout playthrough with their Burmer. Because um, we kind of just skipped right to having Kate on the team. And I did this mission off-screen. I actually did the mission... Um, with our Burmer just while we were playing off screen, level, trying to level our Burmer up. And oh god, there's some raiders here. And they see me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just not go that way. I learned my lesson last time. I'm gonna run away from the fights that I don't think I can win. Like me trying to fight a bunch of blood bugs in a swamp for no reason. And then losing half my health because of it. Because of it. Not that it ended up mattering, because I don't think I would have lived a nuclear missile. But life is funny in these whimsical ways. Alright, let's see. I need to go more east. Oh, my cat's meowing in the background. I hope that picks up. Oh, I need to be careful what I wish for. This, this, this cat shit needs to stop. Ooh, my game's slowing down a little bit. Must be the mods here in the heavy city. Oh, that's a legendary raider. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to avoid him, too. My, my character is building up a reputation as a notorious coward. This is her. The coward. Oh, yep, that, that's why it's getting laggy over here, because this Boston Public Library is one of the mods I downloaded. It's a settlement that uh, someone added in the game. Uh, but I have not gone in there yet, so I'm just going to... If I get out of the range, my frame rate should pick up a little bit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that... that I'm seeing that... Oh, God. Oh, wait, Mr. Parker. Mrs. Sumner. These ghouls have names. That's way too personal. I don't like that. Okay, let's see. I need to whip out Plan B. Oh, God. Oh, God, this mod is really slowing down this area. I gotta just sprint the fuck out of here. Yep, yep, I see I'm right on top of it. Oh, no. Okay, I'm sprinting. I am running. I am running. Don't shoot me, please. I'm just an innocent jogger. I don't want anything to do with you. Okay. All right, we got out of the leg zone here almost. Okay. Okay. How about you don't do what you're about to do? Oh, God. I probably should have reloaded my gun before I did this. Oh! That was not okay what I just saw. I don't feel okay about that. Doggo, I don't want to kill you. Let's just go our separate ways, okay, bud? Okay, bud? Bud? Oh, that was a warning shot. I don't want to do it, dude. I don't want to do it. Don't make me that guy. Alright, you know what? You're, you're a bad boy. Sorry, dude. Alright, so we're nearing the combat zone here. Should probably be more sneaky now. Luckily, I think I got my ammo. Yep, because I died. <laughs> so I didn't end up not ever spending this ammo, so that works out for me. Is this the combat zone here? 
Oh, nope, I'm back at Diamond City accidentally. Okay, well, I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to reload my game and hopefully get this frame rate shit picked up. And we're back. So I had to reload my game, and now we're back at the combat zone. And with that sick shot, we will rescue Kate. So this is like the prequel to the Urberma story, except now that this chick's doing it. This is the mission I wish we would have done on the channel. And I need to, as soon as I get out of here, then there's going to be a lot more people inside. Oh, no. I did not think these people were going to be right in front of the door. They're not usually here. Right, and that critical. Oh, how did that not kill? Okay. All right, I got enough bullets, I think. All right, Kate, we're coming, girl. Just pop some drugs first. <laughs> she would be proud. And take some food, get some water. Hopefully, do I have food on me? Yes, I do have the Yaogai ribs. There we go. Alright, we are good to go. See, the combat zone, I, I, a lot of people have said this, but this is like one of the real missed opportunities of Fallout 4. And this is, there's probably a, a good mod on PC that turns this into a really cool place. Because the design of it is really cool, and it looks like something you would be really fun to like interact with. But like, you get in here and like explore it, and then everyone just instantly attacks you, and you just kill them all, and then you leave and never come back. So, it, it's a real letdown. Like, there's these three people in here who are like tied up for some reason. And, like, the only thing you can do, like, in any interest is sh Oh, God, shoot him. Apparently in the dick. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'll, put, I'll give you the... Oh, no. That was meant to be the merciful one. Okay. Well, that's two down. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I can't hack that terminal. I'm not smart enough. But here we are. Kate's in there kicking ass. Oh, taking him down. Oh, she's using the bat. Okay, I think she missed that swing. That was not graceful. Oh, I went for the... Oh, God. I never actually got to see the whole fight, but that was brutal. And another annoying thing is, like, even if you stay hidden, like, the announcer will, like, know someone's here. I guess that kind of makes sense. Maybe someone came in. Yeah, because he's like... You heard him on the radio just now. He's like, wait, who let you in? But, like, I'm being sneaky. Just for that, I'm killing... Oh, no, that's the announcer guy. I can't kill him. <laughs> but I can't kill him. Okay, damn, damn it, that guy left my sight. Yeah, this is the custom pipe sniper rifle that I made. Um, it's not great, but if I can land my shots in vats, usually my stats can make up for it, especially if it's a sneak attack. And this guy is dead. Oh, man, I'm picking him off. See, because raiders I can handle, because they are predictable and, like, usually die in a couple hits. Because survival doesn't just make it make the game harder, it makes it more realistic. So the raiders do die fat, like they're not just bullet sponges. So they do die pretty quickly if you land the right shots. But the animals, like, there's no bar, bar set for realistic standards on these giant radioactive monsters. So those are still extremely tough to bullets. So those ones are usually the ones I struggle with. These guys I can handle for the most part. But hopefully I didn't jinx, jinx myself there. You, you were born named Raider Scum Guy. You never had a chance. I do apologize. Oh, God. Oh, I'm getting shot. Where is... Oh, he's up there. You sneaky bitch. How am I not hitting him? All right, I'll get him with this one. Reload and pop him. Nope, missed. Nope, missed. Nope, missed. Nope. Oh, hey, we got him. <laughs> Putting on a show for you, Kate. Anyone left? Kate, you want to, like, take one of these guys for me? He's, oh, God, that was a Molotov. Oh, God, that can't feel good. Okay, so I need to take a thing. Psycho, Yaogwai meat, whiskey. Perfect combination. Eating meat and whiskey in the battle. <laughs> Just doing it the Ron Swanson way. On fire as well. This could not be any more ridiculous. This is the realistic mode, guys. And bodies are flying. This is the realistic survival mode. <laughs> Okay, one guy left. It's the barkeep. All right, come on, barkeep. No, would you stop throwing whiskey at me? That's for throwing whiskey at me. I almost did not live through that. Okay, I, yep, I did kill them all. Thank God. See, and stim packs aren't that useful even either. It gives you 30% HP back over the course of like five minutes. So I don't even like. I just sell those usually. The the food and the water is what really gets your health back. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up. Damn coward. To heck with that. I'm oh boy. Alright, so this. I'm full on Yaogwai ribs. <laughs> Drank a quarter whiskey. <laughs> hey Kate. How's it going? Here? Is it over? 
Well, I could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Yeah, you're telling me. High or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight. That's that nice. I a little bit condescending. Putting up more of a fight. You With your Donald to Trump wig. <laughs> you need to curb the Kens, darling. I'm not your darling. Welcome to my humble establishment. See, because, like, how cool would it have been if, like, you... Because if you had the opportunity to be, like, an evil character, to just, like, take over this place and, like, keep the fights going, that would have been great. I'm just passing through. Most of the regulars were just passing through once, too. Weren't you, boys? Hear that, Tommy? Not everyone finds your humble establishment the dog's bollocks. The Lost dog's bollocks. The charm, has it? And it's trying, uh, this, it's trying to hit every she Irish innocent that it can. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. Little bird, is he Sandor Clegane? Well, you're out of business now. What do you mean? Not the entrepreneurial sort, are you? Keeping those idiots entertained was what kept us in caps. Now just what the hell are we supposed to do? To hell with them. More will come. See, it looks like they're even hinting at it right here, which makes me think that maybe it was just like cut content. Because Kate's, Kate's even saying, I want to keep fighting. Let's like, because this would be the perfect opportunity. They have a building here, it's set up. It doesn't make any sense why they would just abandon it. Take It's yours now. Take it. Uh, Kate, uh, Kate's talented. Clearly talented. See? At least someone knows. Us redheads got to stick together. Us fire crashes. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. Perhaps you could do me a solid. Our dear Kate here needs a change of scenery. If you take her with you, when you... Yep, so so this is basically where, uh, is where we took off when we had Kate in the Burma series is... I did this off screen for what whatever say? reason because this is one of the cooler scenes. Well, wasted opportunity. Well, I, I'm done complaining about it. it it's a cool area. Um, so that's why I wanted to, to get it done and show it on the channel for us. Um, and recruit Kate because Kate's a character we've been using the, basically the whole time on the channel. So I don't think I'm going to use her a lot on this character just because I sneak around and companions piss me off to all hell when I'm doing the game. So I'm probably going to do this playthrough, you know, solo. But. Kate, I'll at least put it in Hangman's Alley, my main base, and I'm she can sure. sit there and guard my shit. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the Ooh, hell we get the secret little dialogue here. Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. Oh, he cares. Yeah, I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? Aww. So just do me this favor. Both of you. He's a, he's a ghoul with a heart and a Donald Trump wig. <laughs> Sure. All right, Kate, you, you can come with me and guard my back. shit. <laughs> guard my, my my belongings Man, and my bobbleheads and shit. I, I'm not even really going to pay you. I don't get why half the followers stick just with just my character. Also, I got 104 bottle caps. I don't know if you, you usually get that. Why would he pay me? Why Wasn't he just pissed off at me? Right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. You know what? Fine. I'm done. I give Tommy a week before he starts missing my sweet arse. When are we leaving, Hotshot? I'll find you on my way out. Great. I'll be in the toilet fixing me makeup. In the toilet fixing your makeup? Okay. Well, with that, join us next time. I'll be in the toilet fixing my makeup.